so at times we need to analyze the network latency between two endpoints that means the two IP addresses so I'll show you a quick way how you can check latency using Wireshark and uh, it's a very simple procedure and Wireshark gives you uh, an inbuilt feature to check latency between two points actually so first of all if you have a mixed trace like for example uh, you have ICMP packets you have then some other packets then again ICMP something like this so first of all filter out your desired packets only so I have filtered it via ICMP protocol so we are going to analyze the, uh, the uh, latency here using ICMP that means the ping packets the echo request and reply sequences right so this was a mixed trace if you have a mixed trace first of all filter it with your desired protocol in which uh, in my case it is ICMP okay so now I already have another sample let's open sample number two so if I open sample 2 this is a filtered trace between two endpoints this is my source this is my destination and a continuous ping is going on between them right so with this ping sequence how can I analyze whether there is any latency observed in this section or not it's very simple go to statistics IO graphs okay and in IO graphs come to all packets here in all packets under the Y axis select the max Y field and what will be your Y field? The Y field will be ICMP dot response time. So ICMP response time if you select here, okay? And a graph will be plotted like this. So you see for all the packets that are in your background, open your, in your background, you see some spikes here. So these spikes are the spikes of ICMP response time. And this section here is in milliseconds. So for example, this particular, this is a point wherein uh, you have uh, uh, if you check here here are the packet details right so if you if you I mean point your uh, cursor here 76.4 millisecond uh, it has taken to reply uh, the ICMP request similarly here it is somewhere around 60 millisecond here it is more than 50 millisecond right if you see in the background if I click this thing okay it will automatically select the packets in the background you see you see here packet number 206 if I go here so this is my reply that has that has uh, taken how much time this much time okay so this section has latency it is clearly visible if you see these spikes these are latency spikes right now let me open another sample trace sample 1 if I open okay sample 1 is, is between two different endpoints and if I plot the same graph IO graphs here okay so again uh, choose my Y field as ICMP dot response time right and uh, under Y axis I will choose the max of my Y field right okay and uh, let me close this and open again statistics IO graphs okay so you see I also have some spikes here but these are very less so uh, the maximum spike here is 2.5 millisecond which is normal right so you need to check the y axis also in earlier case in this graph it, it is going beyond 60 millisecond right 76 millisecond was the highest point and here it is like 1 point some something millisecond and 2.5 millisecond which is quite normal so this section more or less is latency free this doesn't have any latency however this one has latency so if this section comes on your tor switch then there is a problem with your tor switch go check that if this section comes uh, inside your vm inside your application that means your application is having some problem the infrastructure is okay so based on the location of the trace you have to analyze why you are getting this latency